So Ezreal is one of those ADCs. He's S plus tier. He's S plus tier, but the only reason I don't always put him in S plus tier is because he's insanely hard to play. Like, I would say he's by far the hardest ADC to master. By far. It's like not even close in my opinion. Because you have to hit skill shots. This is the only ADC where you genuinely have to hit like a lot of your skill shots for him to be valuable in the game. You know, if you look at someone like Lucian, he has a couple skill shots. Look at someone like, like Caitlyn, she has her first ability, but even if you miss them, it doesn't really matter that much. You know what I mean? Like all of these ADCs, even Zeri. Zeri is hard to play. Varus, even Varus is hard to play, but it's not that hard. They have skill shots, but it's really not that hard. But Ezreal is the only ADC. And I, I love how the game put the difficulty on two out of three. It's not two out of three. It's four out of three. The difficulty of this chat. It's four out of three. So let's talk about how to build him. The funny thing is he's also the most difficult ADC to build. I'm going to try to keep it a bit short. But the thing is, if you play a perfect Ezreal, but build it wrong, it's still useless. It's still very, very bad. So I'm going to ignore the multiple ways you can build the Trinity Force because you can start with Tear of Goddess, go Trinity Force. You can start with Mana Mune. You can start with Tear of Goddess, get a Sheen. And you know what I mean? You can do all that. I'm going to ignore that because I have to, I have a lot more to talk about. So um, this is always going to be your first item. Let's just say it like that. Mana Mune, you can stack it up. Mura Mana is a massive power spike. Trinity Force is always going to be your second item. Okay, up until here, nice and easy. For your boots, you go Glutinous Greaves. Actually, this is not always going to be your second item. If you're against a full attack damage composition, you are actually going to go Iceborne Gauntlet. Infinitely more valuable, and then you're going to add armor boots to it too. This is only against full attack damage. But if you're not against full attack damage, you're going to go Trinity Force. After that, it already becomes completely situational. Hear me out. Are you against squishy enemies? You go for Essence Reefer. This is going to really amplify the damage of your first ability and your ultimate. Right? Against squishy enemies, Essence Reefer, perfect rune. Very, very strong. Next up, do you want healing? And the enemies are very squishy. You can actually throw in a Bloodthirster. I'm not even kidding. You can actually throw it in. Because Essence Reefer does more damage with crit. And this is going to heal you like crazy. But this is only good against very, very squishy enemies. Is the enemy building some armor? And even only armor boots? Already makes the Cerildas Grudge worth as your fourth item. Do you need anti-heal? Then you're gonna shift to the Mortal Reminder. Cerildas Grudge is generally better though, because slowing enemies with your abilities makes it so much better when you play Ezreal. Last item is always gonna be a Guardian Angel. Now let's talk about something else. Let's say you're against a very tanky composition. What are you gonna do? Boom, boom. You're gonna substitute, substitute substitute the essence reefer for the blade of the Doom king make sure you do this because if you're against a mundo or something and you went essence reefer you are never gonna kill him you're never gonna kill like legit never but with this build you're gonna destroy the mundo okay make sure you do this this is very important against a tanky composition um anything else that i need to talk about with Ezreal? um no other items no i've tried lethality Ezreal. Totally not worth it, like not even the slightest worth it, not at all. For the enchantment, you want to go for stasis. So I tried to keep it a bit easy. There are some other things you can do with the build and other ways to build it, but this is like a general rule of thumb. You know, if you're against tanks, you go for the Blade of the Room King. One more item, Moth more Morsius, you want to build this against heavy AP compositions. Against heavy AP, you go for Mercury Threats and Moth more Morsius. For example, if you're against an Evelyn and a Katarina and like a Nami support, you want to go for these types of items and they're not going to one-shot you anymore you can actually you know win the trades against them it's very very good for the runes you go kraken slayer very very strong brutal brutal gets applied when you use your first ability so this really lets you do a lot more damage early game giant slayer um, to be able to take front lines very often even even in a game where the enemies are squishy you're probably still going to end up attacking the front line, whether it's a bruiser or anyone else. The front line is always going to be tankier than the back line. So getting a giant slayer is always a good thing with Ezreal. Here we go for legend bloodline for the bonus healing. And alacrity is not really useful because you have your passive attack speed anyways. And here we go for bone plating just so you don't get one shot. And for the spells, we go for exhaust and flesh. So that is it about the build, guys. Let's now get into the gameplay. I'm actually playing with keys. Keys is on the Shivana. Um, so... Yeah, now it enters the game. This is going to be a very, very interesting game. A very cool game. Because, uh, again, Keys is playing on the Shivana. Keys is always playing as a support normally. But now you guys are going to see him play on the Shivana. And so let's take a look at this game. 
what is the enemy? I didn't actually know, I didn't pay attention to the enemy. Um, but let's take a look at who they are. Are they squishy? Are they tanky? Let's assess the build that I have to go. Something I like to do on Ezreal right here, as you can see, I like to just attack that bush with my first ability like that. O oftentimes, you're actually just going to get a free hit on the enemy. So take a look at the enemy. It seems like their only tank... Ah, another hit. Their only tank is Blitzcrank. So what are we going to build? You guys should know. The Essence Reaver. Another item I forgot to talk about. Driftmaker, by the way. If the enemies really have a lot of armor and you don't even want to go armor penetration against it, you can actually go Riftmaker and sort of transition a little bit into AP Ezreal. You know what I mean? So you can actually do that as well. That's also viable, especially combined with the Essence Reaver. So yeah, this enemy is not tanky at all. Only Blitzcrank, but like, I don't really care about Blitzcrank. He's not even that tanky, you know what I mean? Like, Blitzcranks are not even that tanky normally. And I'm just laning against the Blitzcrank here and against the Zeri. Um, I know the Zeri is not a good player, so this should be a very easy lane matchup. So I'm, I'm gonna play very aggressive. Like, I'm gonna play this lane very aggressive, because we have a Lux as well. The Lux is, you're gonna see, the Lux is gonna hit some uh, abilities pretty well. And that's the thing you need to do with Ezreal too. You sort of need to assess the enemy's skills. I am lucky that I already know the skill of one of the enemies. So, you need to know if they're good. If the enemies are playing good, like if you see that the enemies are playing good, and you know they're playing better than you and your support, you need to play it safe. And you can easily do that with Ezreal. Just play under your turret, play under your turret, and just use your first ability to farm. That's all you're gonna do. If the enemies are not good, and you know you can abuse them, abuse them. Right? Hit your first abilities from far away. Keep bullying them. Go in. Use your second ability and your third ability to go in. Just bully the hell out of them, right? Like right here you can see, I'm gonna bully him because my Lux hit an ability, I'm gonna go for it. Like I'm proactive right now. And here you can see, I just got his shield out as well. So this is something a lot of, you know, a lot of people that play Ezreal, they sort of always take the same approach in the game. But you shouldn't. Okay. I actually baited him here. It's pretty funny. Um, I don't want to tell you guys to do this because I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are going to feel this because this is not an easy thing to do. When you're against like a Blitzcrank or a Thrash or a Pike or something, you can actually bait them to hook you because you know, if they're very low HP, it doesn't really matter. You're going to kill them, right? Like if they hook you, you're simply going to kill them. So right there, I was literally backporting right in front of him to sort of purposely let him hook me, and he actually fell for it. He hooked me, and I just got a free kill on the Blitzcrank. So that's what I mean, right? Like, you're not gonna do this if you know the enemies are playing better than you. But, because I already know, like, I already realized as well that the Blitzcrank is not a very good player, so I just knew I can absolutely abuse this lane hard. I'm gonna try to get a... Oh my god, Keys just jumped over the wall, I got a double kill. He... <laughs> Where did he even come from? He jumped from over their wall. That's insane. Um, and by the way, guys, I am giving away five, I'm giving away five skins now because because one of uh, two of the winners of last month it was 69 Ashira and Gen X. Both of them they told me to give away the skin to uh, someone else because Gen I think Gen X didn't have PayPal or something like that. So uh, he or she told me that you know, just add it to the skin. Now I don't have to say four skins anymore. Well, I just said it again, but I don't have to say it anymore. Okay, there we go. We're gonna we're gonna hard engage on the Zeri too. And just hit him like that. And now he's very low. It was worth my flash. Because now he's very, very low HP. And I actually sort of flashed to kill the Blitzcrank. But Blitzcrank died anyways. But now we can apply tons of pressure to this Zeri. Like, we can apply big, big pressure. I'm pinging the Lux that I want to fight this uh, this Zeri. We should be able to kill him if we get like a good root from the Lux. Even if we can't kill him, we should be able to just push the turret like crazy. So like right here, you can see I can push the turret. I can bully him with my first ability. I even have an ultimate. Uh... There you go. Very beautiful. And Blitzcrank is already a little bit low HP. Just gonna shoot an ultimate through him. I actually missed both of them, which is a pretty horrible ultimate for me. But it's fine. And now you've reached the moment of the game where you can buy a mana mune. What do you want to do now? General rule of thumb. You can buy a mana mune, push the wave as fast as you can, and get your mana mune. Okay, that, 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 that's what you want to do. Ooh, actually, we're gonna all in here. I almost killed the Zeri. She was barely able to escape. It was a beautiful catch by Deluxe. Man, I am bullying them like crazy here. Look at that. I told you guys you want to go back as fast as possible. But I actually have an opportunity here to shove another wave to make the Zeri lose even more farm. So I'm taking that opportunity, just shoving one more wave. And I'm actually going to get close to the Sheen. I'm not quite going to get it. Actually, wait, how much gold is the man in Uneith? Should be like, wait, I should have a Sheen as well. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's what I was doing. So look, now I have a Manamine and a Sheen. This is the 
perfect. Like, this is the perfect build for the dragon. Because when you have a man immune and a sheen, you are gonna 1v9 the dragon fight. Like, you're gonna absolutely 1v9 it. Ah, I should just... Okay, there we go. Easy kill on the Akali. Ah, he's, he's just dead. There we go, nice. I just cleaned up right here. My team did a good job fighting. I just cleaned up a double kill just so they can't take the dragon. Diana didn't rotate, which is fine. She's just pushing a turret. And this is overall a win, win for us. If I didn't pick up those skills, it would be very bad. Because then they would take the dragon. And now, like, if I hit my... Yeah, I'm, I'm being extremely aggressive here. I predicted him using his third ability like that. Like, I'm completely outplaying the Zeri right here. She, she's already 1 HP, basically. They're taking the dragon, but I mean, I don't really care. They're rotating, so I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna try to kill this Zeri. At least just try to apply pressure here, you know what I mean? Because I'm way stronger than her right now. I have, I have a man immune and a Sheen. Hopefully this ult... Ah! I would have hit the ult and I would have killed that Zeri, but the split second he backported before my ultimate. That's so, ah, uh, so unfortunate. I would have killed him, gotten the turret, and pushed, like, you know, kept pushing as well. I would have probably even tried to invade their jungle. But that's, that's so sad that it didn't work. Oh, man. That was the- Oh, that was so sad. Sometimes, like, a split second can make the difference, you know? Maybe I should actually stay for the Trinity Force? I'm not sure. I should probably- I don't know. Am I backporting, really? Because, like, I'm so close to a Trinity Force. I suppose I'm just gonna buy boots. I'm gonna buy Vampirism boots here, then. I went for Ionian boots? Ah, I was trying Ionian boots this game. But I want to say they're not really worth it. Like, after all the experiences, they're not really worth it. Right here, one of my teammates was complaining. I think he was like, yo, the mid lane and the... Yeah, because Yasuo and Di... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The Yasuo and the Diana were really bad. So, like, you know, they were complaining. But I was trying to give some moral moral support to my team. I was like, that bot lane is bad too. So, it's completely fine, bro. And then you can see Keys as well. He's saying, I'm scaling. Guys, we got this. This is an easy game. We got this. Um, it's not gonna be an easy game, by the way. But we're just giving moral support to each other. You know what I mean? Trying to, try to support this team a little bit. Jace is coming. I'm not really afraid of him. Like, I can exhaust him. There we go. I can even go in here if I really want. Ooh, but then the Blitzcrank! Oh, if I didn't dodge that hook, I would have died. Okay. I have an ult here. I could ult all of them here if I... Oh, J Keys is about to go in. I can have a massive ult here. He's gonna hit all of them. Boom! Look at that. I can be aggressive here. I, I can either go for the Lux or, or sorry, for the Zari or the Blitzcrank. I went for the Blitzcrank because the Zari was a tad bit too far away to kill. But he flashed away, so I guess that's fine. Again, applying pressure. You can see I'm applying pressure, just pushing. And there you go, like half of the turret is gone just by doing that. You know what I mean? And I was also ready to just go onto the Zari. But the Zarya played it safely, so now she didn't die. But still, even though she didn't die, I'm just, you know, I'm taking turret after turret right here. I'm getting super fed like this. I see Kha'Zix, I see him, but I also see the turret. Ooh, I'm probably dead here. I'm probably dead. Yeah, I'm dead. Five people, what the hell? There's five people here! You know what I should have done? I should have actually ulted. Um, before dying, I should have ulted, and it would have sliced through all of them. Would have just been a bit better for us. Don't know why Lux is saying why, as if it was a mistake. We did get a turret. Um, I mean, again, none of our... The Yasuo and the Diana are pretty much non-existent in this game. You know, they're, they're really not doing anything. So I'm not really sure why he's saying why, as if we made a mistake. We can't do anything about five people rotating, you know? And it's not like we didn't get anything. We got five thirds. Uh, we got one third. I mean, he's just gonna die again, unfortunately, this Yasuo. I'm really not sure what he's doing. He's giving free kills to them. Like, this is a three... This is a 3v5, this game, basically. It's, it's, it's hard. It's like, it's gonna be a hard game. I don't know, like, the new matchmaking has not really been treating me too well. Like, I am getting these really hard games. I don't know why. Like, this is not really a fair game. I mean, their Blitzcrank and their Zeri are quite bad. But they're not as bad as the Yasuo and the Diana. They, they, these guys are straight up inting the whole game. Again, I'm trying to give moral support to this team, right? Like, we can 3v7. I mean, we can't really 3v7, but... Just giving moral support, you know what I mean? You'll see at some point, I'm even gonna tell the Yasuo he's doing a good job. Again, for the moral support. You're gonna love this. Like, late game, you guys have to see the late game with this game. You're gonna love it. And if you're loving it... Look, the Yasuo's like, at least I'm better than Diana. <laughs> yeah, so I, I sort of gave up. 
giving um you know i gave up on the diana but like i saw that the yasuo still had like still had the fire ignited in him so at some point i'm just gonna i'm gonna talk nicely to him ah i can exhaust him easy kill yep there we go flash i missed okay i still killed him that was a horrible flash combo with my ult they're gonna take dragon i'm gonna take blue buff why am I not rotating to the dragon? Even though the Lux is pinging me, the reason that I'm not rotating is because their, their jungler is dead, and I trust Keys to smite, right? Their, so their jungler is dead, and I know, like, it should be fine. So I'm just shoving waves, I'm doing everything, and only now am I rotating. Oh my god, he just kills me. Jesus Christ, he just killed me, that Jace. I mean, to be fair, he has three items. I didn't even realize he had three items. That's crazy. I, like, I didn't realize it. Honestly, I should have looked at this Corbett and saw that he had three items. And he's going for the true damage build as well. So, of, of course, he's going to beat an Ezreal early game. You know, if I have two items, he has three lethality items. Obviously, he's going to beat me. Oh. I'm just going to ult through them here. Just do some damage. And the thing about Ezreal as well, in the later stages of the game, especially when you reach level 13, you don't want to save your ult. You just want to ult all the time because your ult is going to be on like a 20 second cooldown. And every time you hit your first ability, it's going to reduce the cooldown by another one and a half seconds. So you want to sort of keep using your ultimate, even if even to clear waves. You just want to keep using it and provide value with it. Like, even if you just use it on the enemy base, so when they're walking out of the base, they'll take your ultimate. It's going to slow them, because if they take damage when they're walking out of the base, they're not going to get the base movement speed anymore. So you're going to basically take away like a couple seconds from them, which is very valuable, don't get me wrong. And um, you're doing damage to them. Right now, I'm saying me, red, and fight. I have three items. I am insanely strong right now so hopefully i'll get the red buff yasuo did not take it which is great um okay diana took the red buff oh i got hooked from downtown no that Blitzcrank came in clutch. So their support came in clutch. He just hooked me from downtown, man. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I'm glad I deleted that. Holy moly. I do not even wanna do not even wanna know what the hell I was gonna type right there. ADC gap! ADC gap? What do you mean? ADC gap, he's 07! I was actually good. I was actually nice to him. Look, I, like after all, I'm gonna be nice to him. You see, it's about the moral. It's about the. Uh... Ooh, I held back on trash talking. You see, are you guys proud of me? I didn't. I didn't say anything. Yeah, that was my mistake. It was completely my fault, right there. I got. I mispositioned horribly. I did not. I did not really anticipate the blitzcrank. I completely disrespected the blitzcrank, you know, because I was like, he's a horrible player. Anyways, he's not gonna hook me. And then he just had that insane hook where they got the Baron because of that. So really, really badly played by me to do that. Really bad. Like me getting hooked like that just cost us the Baron and potentially the whole game. Okay, this is good. Very nice lane to pick. Yeah, I'm gonna go Stasis now because I feel like Stasis will be very valuable. Especially because, like, if Kha'Zix jumps on me, you can one-shot me. So if I can... St and Jace as well. So if I can... Stace is right before they jump on me. Um, it should be fine for us. Like, I can just survive. Again, just use your ult. Do some damage. And look at that. My poking is actually good. Like, I'm doing really good damage to them. Again, because I have the right build. Super, super important to have the right build. Because if I went for Blade of the Doom King this game, I would do very little damage. But the Essence Reefer is slicing through their HPs because they're so squishy. So it's a very, very important item. Oh my god, that Jace! He, he just half-lifed me through my bone plating, by the way. Again, ulting the wave just to do some damage because the ult cooldown is super low. Look at 20 seconds. I haven't even maxed my ultimate yet. But the cooldown is so low that you just want to use it like that. Just use it. Here I was thinking, so does Grudge or um, Riftmaker. But I realized I don't want to get Riftmaker. We already have a Lux. The Diana's not really doing anything, but she's magic damage regardless. I'm glad Diana did actually not take the red buff this time. I mean, Diana's just suiciding. Oh, look at that beautiful ultimate though. 
Okay, good engage by Keys, but he got exhausted immediately. But very, very good engage. He's tanking everything. Okay. Boom, boom. I killed the Jace. I have a stasis. There we go. I completely baited in this Zeri. And now she's just dead. Wow. I actually played that really clean. Holy moly. You see what I did? So, Shivana baited all of them. She went in, tanked everything. I did a ton of them. Basically, I did a lot of damage. And after that, I baited the Zeri in. I baited her, she went all in on me, and then I just stasis And I flashed out of her second ability too, and now we made this comeback. This all started with Keys going in as the tank. Very, very beautifully played. And I want to say this Lux is doing a really good job in the game as well. Her roots, her shields, her everything are just very good. Again, another thing you really want to make sure you're doing, you want to keep farming. This is, this is like the difference between the best players and good players. You know, oftentimes you'll see the best players, they'll have like, you know, they'll have like at least 900 gold per minute. And in this game, I have like 850, which is, wait, I had, I had 14k gold. I have close to 900 gold per minute this game. It's close. It's actually very close. Um, and I died three times. So I have a really good amount of gold per minute. Can be better, but it's good. So I was thinking about ulting him, but he took the heal, so I'm not going to kill him anymore with the ult. Okay, just boom. I hit someone in the bush right there. Ooh, the Jace is pushing. I'm pretty sure Shivana can 1v1 Jace. I mean, yeah, 100%. I'm just gonna ult just to help him. Well, he's running away, so... Okay, he didn't even need that ult. I mean, doesn't even need it. I know they could start the Baron here, but I don't think they'll get it all the way. So that's why I just went went ahead and just took a D route. D re reroute? I don't know what it's called. To take the blue buff, because then I can spam my abilities a lot more. Especially with the Ionian boots, I guess. Can really spam the hell out of my abilities. Okay, let's just bully them. Okay, he's going on me. What is that? It's a weird engage. He still did so much damage to me though, this Kha'Zix. Look, again, I, I'm thinking about just ulting through that bush. I should I should have ulted. Like, I should have ulted to, and predicted where they would go. Even if I hit one enemy, it's worth it. Even if I hit... Ah, Diana took the red buff again. It's really bad, because red buff is so good on Ezreal, because when you poke the enemies with your first ability, it will already do a lot of damage, but then the red buff will further burn them with like 100, 150 more damage, and it's true damage as well. So it's really unfortunate that this guy is taking the red buff. I don't really get why. I didn't even say anything about him, you know what I mean? I don't really get why he's taking it, because it, it will make the difference. Me taking a red buff does make the difference. Really sad, honestly, that he's taking it. They're gonna take the Baron here. Yeah, they're taking Baron. I mean, we can give up Baron and go for Dragon. I believe we have Dragon Soul. Yes. We can rush this Dragon. He should ult the Dragon. Is he gonna do it? Oh, sorry, not Dragon Soul. Um, Elder Dragon. Elder Dragon. Even Dragon Soul would have been worth it better. But we can just rush this Elder Dragon. So, like, they're keeping them busy right here. And I know the enemies took Baron. But we can just take Elder and return to it. Which is completely fine. Spe like, if you're very early in the game, Elder is much stronger than Baron. I did a cool flash combo. Boom, boom, boom. He's gonna be dead too. There we go. Double kill. So, like, Elder... Before 25 minutes, I would say. Elder... Actually, before 23 minutes, 22 minutes, Elder is 100% stronger than Baron. After 22, 23 minutes, Baron starts to become stronger than Elder. And after 25 minutes, 100% Baron is stronger than Elder. So, based on that, we're 18 minutes into the game. You always would trade Elder for Baron. So, like, Baron is not that strong yet right now. But Elder does a flat amount of damage. So, like, the, the earlier on it is, the less HP people have, the more damage Elder is going to do, relatively, right? So, if you get to the late game, you're going to have the sets, the Scions with like five, 6,000 HP. So, then 100 true damage per second is not going to be a lot anymore, you know what I mean? So, that's, what, that's how you can assess it. And, Baron's skills in the late game, it becomes exponentially stronger in the late game. It gives you more and more attack damage and ability power. So, that's why, like, you know... Elder becomes weaker, Baron becomes stronger. So, like, there is a moment, a pivotal moment, that, that, that like, the Elder does not really become worth it anymore. At some point, it actually starts to become even useless, I want to say. Especially in the current meta, right? The, the, the tank meta. It's not, obviously, it's not useless, but you know what I mean. In this game, you know, now that I'm looking at this game, I probably should have gone for armor boots. Because, you know, Kha'Zix is full true damage. Yeah, uh, um, Jace is full true damage. They really don't... And Akali is not really doing anything against me. So I should have probably gone for full armor. Oh my god, look at that ult. That's what I mean with the ult, guys. You'll slice through them. 
you'll especially with the elder just use it like that now both of them have to backport and waste a lot of time and and i have my ultimate again eight seconds you know what i mean so it's always worth it to do that always Ooh, that jace he should know he should know we're coming for him i thought he was in that bush backboarding okay i can ult again there we go i hit like four people with that ult Keys is kind of inting here. He went a little bit too deep. Okay, boom, boom, boom. There we go. Nice and easy. Unfortunate that the Shivana died, but it's fine. I can get a Guardian Angel at home as well. Oh my god. That Oh! Is he going to kill me? He smited me. Why did I even try to hit him? I should have just ran away and used my third ability over the wall. I think I could have survived. Jesus, that Kha'Zix damage though. They did kill him luckily. But that Kha'Zix can just absolutely one-shot us. Crazy damage. 0-10 Yasuo, by the way. 0-10. Look, 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 look. Right here, I was... Look, look, look. I'm giving him moral support. He's 0 10, by the way. <laughs> but hey, look. Good old... Good job, bro. And he took it pretty nicely. Look, you're gonna see. So it's about the moral support. Thank you, brother. No problem, bro. No problem. My ult? Ah, I didn't hit. He says, I got you. He got me back. Come on, Keys. Smite. Oh, that was so close. Should kill that Jace here together. Yeah, we should be able to catch him. He's probably behind, right? He's probably in that... Yeah, yeah, I knew he was there. I mean, it was obvious. Boom, boom, boom. Easy peasy kill. Wait, my entire team died. What the hell? How did my whole team die? What just happened? What? How did they all just die? I didn't even realize they were all dead. The elder is spawning, but I'm applying enough pressure here to make sure like at least two of them rotate. Wanted to kill the Skazix here, but his edge of night came up. Okay, I'm not that afraid of them here. Although Akali can be a bit annoying. Okay, he's coming as well. But again, I want to keep them busy. Ooh, stasis. They're taking Elder. I'm wasting their time. These guys think they kill me. I even run away. Oh my god. I even nearly killed that Zeri out of nothing. And we just get Elder. They fell for my trap. They went for me. But we just get Elder. And I didn't even die. Because I had Stasis, Guardian Angel. I had everything. Now the enemies are in trouble. You see that one little play that I made right there? Essentially won us the game. The enemies were not, were not very smart. They, even if they killed me, even if they killed me, would it be worth it? No. Oh, Kha'Zix is coming. I know he's coming. And I just kill him. I saw him coming because he... The way I saw him coming is he ulted before engaging on me. So I saw him coming. I just killed him as well. So very nice game right here. Shows you how strong Ezreal really is. Um, if you play him correctly. Because I did play him correctly. I mean, I made mistakes. Obviously, I did. But... Uh, and this was not one of those stomp games where I actually play even better than this. But I, I want to show you guys a game like this, of course. Easy peasy win. I got the MVP, of course. I mean, Keys could have gotten it as well. He played a very good Shivana this game, too. Uh, I'm just supporting him because this guy view bots on Twitch. So, uh, yeah. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed this video. And I will see you all in the next Wild Rift video.